scientists using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, have made a groundbreaking discovery. An Earth-sized exoplanet named Gliese 12b, orbiting a red dwarf star just 40 light-years away in the constellation Pisces. This tantalizing find has significant implications for our search for life beyond our solar system, as Gliese 12b resides in its star's habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Gliese 12b, with a diameter roughly 1.1 times that of Earth, presents an exciting opportunity for scientists. Its star, Gliese 12, is a small and cool red dwarf, about a quarter the size of our Sun. Despite Gliese 12b's close orbit, completing a year in just 12.8 Earth days, the lower temperature of its parent star means the planet is within the habitable zone, potentially allowing for the presence of liquid water on its surface. Larissa Palethorpe from University College of London, who co-led the research with Shashir Dolakia of the University of Southern Queensland, expressed cautious optimism about Gliese 12b's habitability. It's either in the habitable zone of its star or right on the edge of it. So, it could be habitable, Palethorpe told Space.com. The discovery that Gliese 12b is so similar in size to Earth was a pleasant surprise for the research team. The planet's year, lasting just 12.8 Earth days, places it very close to its star. However, the cooler temperature of Gliese 12 means that Gliese 12b, despite receiving around 85% of the radiation that Venus gets from the Sun, likely has a much cooler surface temperature of around 42 degrees Celsius. This cooler temperature contrasts sharply with Venus, which has a surface temperature of 464 degrees Celsius. The stark differences between Venus and Earth, both of which are in our Sun's habitable zone, underscore the importance of studying Gliese 12b to understand planetary habitability better. One of the critical next steps for scientists is determining whether Gliese 12b has an atmosphere, which is crucial for habitability. Early indications suggest that if the planet does have an atmosphere, it might be relatively thin. This is potentially good news, as a thick atmosphere dominated by hydrogen, which is common in larger exoplanets, is usually unfavorable for habitability. Vincent Van Eylen, another researcher from UCL, explained that a thick hydrogen atmosphere would likely make the planet inhospitable. However, a thin atmosphere, similar to Earth's, could be more conducive to life. It could either have no atmosphere, which would not be great for habitability, or it would have this sort of thin atmosphere, kind of like the Earth's, Van Island said. Red dwarfs like Gliese 12 are the most common type of star in our galaxy, comprising 60% to 70% of the stars in the Milky Way. These stars, also known as K-type or M-type stars, have a much lower mass than our Sun, ranging from 7.5% to 50% of the Sun's mass. Consequently, they burn at lower temperatures and have much longer lifespans, potentially lasting tens or even hundreds of billions of years. This extended lifespan means that planets orbiting red dwarfs could have more time to develop life compared to planets orbiting larger stars like our Sun. However, red dwarfs are also known for their intense magnetic activity, often emitting powerful flares of high-energy X-rays that can strip away planetary atmospheres and boil off liquid water. Despite these challenges, the relative calmness of Gliese 12 at the moment is promising for the potential habitability of Gliese 12b. The close proximity of habitable zones to red dwarfs also makes it easier for tests to detect planets like Gliese 12b, as their frequent transits cause more noticeable dips in the star's light. While TESS has been instrumental in discovering Gliese 12b, further investigations will require more advanced tools and techniques. The research team plans to use the radial velocity method, which measures the tiny wobbles in a star's motion caused by the gravitational pull of orbiting planets to determine the planet's mass more accurately. Moreover, the team hopes to use the James Webb Space Telescope to study Gliese 12b's atmosphere through transmission spectroscopy. This method analyzes the starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere during transits, allowing scientists to detect the presence of various elements and molecules that could indicate habitability. The discovery of Gliese 12 b not only brings us a step closer to finding potentially habitable exoplanets, but also offers a unique opportunity to study how different planetary environments develop. By comparing Gliese 12 b to Earth and Venus, scientists can gain insights into why these two similar-sized planets, both in our Sun's habitable zone, have such drastically different environments. 
understanding the conditions that lead to the development of life-supporting atmospheres and favorable surface conditions is crucial for identifying other habitable worlds in our galaxy. Gliese 12b, with its proximity and similarities to Earth, is an ideal candidate for such studies.